Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. Hope you're doing well. Don't, don't forget to hit subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Today we're going to be looking at Double Black Rennie Doyle Collection Leather Treatment Conditioner and Protectant. Conditions leather. Protects and preserves. Um, infuses leather fragrance. Premium leather finish. And contains UB in UV inhibitors. So it's something that you basically apply to leather to try and enhance the finish, revive it, and add things that are supposed to be good for leather. So as we've said many times, we've talked about all the dramas with leather before, and some of those dramas are valid, because let's just go over, we're gonna apply all this live, guys. So let's just grab all this stuff, and we're gonna go in the club sport, and I'm not gonna do the leather seats, because they don't really need anything. You know, they're okay, we could do the leather seats. I'm gonna use it on my gator. And, oh, because it's a little bit stiff, if you pardon the pun. Now, I'm just going to check the light, because it's probably going to be awful lighting, isn't it? Let me have a look, see what you're seeing. Oh, we can see a little bit. Let's see if we can get... Oh, we need the keys in there. Oh, no, we don't. That is working. Holy crap. My batteries are probably... Oh, God. Let's just see. Yeah, you can see what's going on. Look, it's all nice down here, isn't it? For an old battered car, look how good it is. Uh, what we want to do is this leather here is a little bit on the crispy hard side. It shows this. So we're going to put this product on it and on these as well. That feels okay, but we're going to put it on there as well. Let's get on and apply it, guys. And we'll talk, we'll talk while we're doing it. Right, hopefully you've got a good sighting there of what we're doing. <clears throat> In fact, let's get a better sighting. Let's get an ace sighting. So let's go here and put that here like that. And then that like that, I bet. And then that like that. Look at this. Look at this camera. Camera work. That is the bendy legs. <laughs> right. Okay. This has been cleaned, okay? Just wiped down with a little bit of detergent and water and just to get any grease off of the surface and stuff like that. Now the instructions. For best results, clean and dry the area, tick. Um, once cleaned, apply an even coat of leather using a wax applicator. Apply in abundance and allow it to set for 20 minutes. So let's give this a shake. <coughs> Make sure we mix up any ingredients that are in there. Let's put a blob, there we go, <laughs> little blob of product. Let me put the lid down so I don't kick this bottle over. Let's apply this. So a microfiber applicator like this is good. Let's try and wet natural leather. Get it everywhere. As long as I can see it's wet it, then I know. There's a film of product all around there. There we go. Oh, that's it. That's the money shot. Then this way. That's it. Then forward. Good. And then over. Okay, guys, that is applied. So let's just get a little bit more in here. All those creases. What I'm hoping this product is going to do, what I'm hoping, let's just take the camera off, I'm hoping this product is going to penetrate through this paint system and get to the leather backing and soften it a little bit so this feels a little bit less brittle. That's my hope for it. And I hope it maintains that little shine and gloss because it's looking a little bit fresher now. I don't know if you can if you're going to be able to see that on the camera. Can you see a little bit of gloss? So it looks good. Um, now I'm going to try and do this bit over here. Put this camera like that. And hopefully you've got a better view of this than I've got. Right, bear with me. This GoPro is a revolution for, for me doing YouTube because it means I can just kind of shoot these videos quite quick and actually film stuff live of me doing things. So what I'm gonna do 
Let's just pop this down. I've used a little bit more this time. Let's get this nice and wet with the product. Oh, I'm going to do all this handle as well because this is all leather. And let's get under here. There we go. Get all that bit there. Don't want to get too much around the plastics because it's going to be probably quite an oily product, but it doesn't feel too bad. Get it all in there. Button. Give me a bit more slack on my leather. There we go. And there we go. it it's quite nice to work with guys you see like it's not like white or anything like that as soon as you get contact with it it's just a shiny product and then down there you can see like a little smudge where I've got come off the leather I've just got a microfiber cloth to pick that up so that's good apart from that little white brown there it's starting to dry already just get a bit more on here. <clears throat> okay, good. Make sure that's all covered. And finally, let's go over here where you can probably actually see. This is still wet, so I'm just going to use this. See this? A bit crazy with this we could put it all along here as well this is not leather so this might not even be leather but it looks like leather <laughs> okay that's done so what i'm going to do guys is turn the camera off it says wait 20 minutes and come back in uh, 20 minutes see what it looks like okay guys it's been at least half an hour maybe a bit longer i've been using the time to do some other testing over there that you'll see in another video. So let's have a look at what this product has done. So the first thing, if we look down here, let's put this bowl down. All right. The first thing is whatever it's done, it's dry. So it's, it's looking decent. No, I mean, what is it going to do? It's not going to like glow with gloss or because people don't even want it to. So. It's supposed to be like a protector, isn't it? And like conditioner type product, if you like. Conditioner protector. Man, nothing gets past me. Even says it on the label. Let's go and have a look down here. This was the one I was interested in. Sorry, I know it's going to be a bit dark for you guys. Um, but it's added a little bit of gloss. It's not wet. It's not greasy, which is important. So you don't want it to attract dirt and stuff like that. So it's looking nice and it feels nice. I'm more than happy with that, actually. Same here. This is all kind of uh, dry and it just looks good. I'm pretty happy. One thing is I was hoping it would make it a little bit softer because this has gone, this had gone kind of, it still is stiff, but I don't even know if this is real leather. In fact, I'm half tempted to pop this up. I'm just trying to remember how this comes out. If you have to pull. Come on, you little fucker. Oh, pardon my French. Uh, now let's, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to mess around. I'm pretty sure that is real leather. It's probably just very, very old. Maybe the product hasn't been able to penetrate. And what I should do is pop it out and put the conditioner underneath that actually gets into the grain part of the leather to try and soften it up a little bit. But I'm not that bothered, actually. Impressed more that that's the original gator in this car <laughs> the quality of the interiors on these e46s is incredible you would never know that this car has done 150,000 miles until you turn the key on and see all the errors <laughs> apart from that it's all right i'm joking i love this car and while you're here guys and we're talking about paint systems this is how how much of a dork I am this that is this is leather paint okay that's a full leather paint system and you can see it's not all dry cracky paint like your 
clear coat, it's flexible and you can actually stretch it like rubber. So um, you have primer, paint and top coat, just like leather. And that is the big debate around all these products, you know, do they actually get through? Because when you talk about leather, you know, most people think of this, this is a dead cow in here. It's best not to think of your leather in a car as a, as a, as a dead cow, but think of it as a material, an organic material, the leather, that is heavily processed, embossed, primed, painted, and, and clear coated. And really, you're trying to maintain the top coat and the paint system, because once you wear away the paint system, it doesn't look right, and you start seeing the scuffs and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, we've covered all the stuff on leather, guys. But to keep it very simple, these, these type of products work best on battered leather. That's what I find. And I forget about all the detailing theory and stuff like that. I said before, um, on old leather, just hurl these products all over it, buff them off, and hopefully they'll improve the appearance of leather. And yes, maybe add a little bit of gloss, which isn't such a bad thing on really old kind of leather where it's the colors dulled and it's a bit patchy and all that sort of stuff. So you just get it looking a bit better and feeling a bit better. So hopefully that's what that product does, guys. As you know, on this channel, we don't kind of, I don't go down that kind of whole kind of sales route. It's, it's a testing channel. I like to test products. I don't like generally doing reviews on individual products because I don't find you can learn that much about them. I like doing benchmarked kind of tests and stuff like that. But I haven't got enough products to do another leather test. We've already done a mega test. So I'm just showing you one and I'm just using it for the first time myself. And I'll continue to use this product on this particular car and uh, hopefully learn a little bit more about it. So that is the PNS leather protector and conditioner. And thank you very much to Jeff. He sent me a load. Jeff from Prestige Car Care, who sells the PNS products and the Adams products and the Griot's products in the UK. He sent me a load of stuff, and that is not the last of it, actually. That's nearly the last of it. He sent me a ton of stuff, but there's also a detail spray here. You know, PNS are known best for bead maker, but they've got a normal paint gloss showroom spray and shine so we'll be testing that out as well um which is great so thanks for watching guys take care and i'll see you soon bye for now